All right, troops, Yoker Uni presents. Right, a pure mess the days of cinema when all you had to do was nip round to wee Al's house and have a right good swatch of his pirate video collection he stashed away in his heating cupboard. Wee Al was a genius, cos now you can pure smuggle in your iPhone and tape the movie, but Al had to hide his man beat a max camera up his juke. Nothing like watching the turn of the Jedi with crap sound quality in the back of people's seats blocking out the Ewoks. Happy days man, happy days. Now though, all you need to do is go to your mad internet sites and click download. Where's the fun in that man? The digital age has killed the art of the true Glasgow chancers. What am I pure battering on about films for? Well it turns out Hollywood, the dirty wee muppets that they are. Pure stole their intellectual property here in Yoka for one of their films. I say intellectual property, well it's merely a name for our mad illegal street racing we did up and down the boulevard at Drumchapel. We called their races rapid and raging. Hollywood pure bumped it for the Fast and Furious with your mad Vin Diesel. Even that name is pure ripped for your mad pal Vic Meathane. The ultimate kick to the cojones oh, was their mad Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift film, which was heavy actual copied for your race meet we held in the rain once. A rapid and raging, Yoker Skidmark. When we used to pure watch each other race in their Vauxhall Novas and Renault Fives man, you could hear something mental happening. As the motors pure came towards you, you would hear their mad engines. But as you went past you, the engines would heavy change sound. A bit like this. Get me? Know what I mean? This mad changing sound is called your mad Doppler effect, named after some mad Australian partner called Chrissy Doppler. I need to pure tell you first about the frequency of sound though. I'm going to make a noise like this. Uh, What's been happening is I'm making sound waves with my mouth. And the waves are spreading out for me and the other people's ears and that. The pure spread out at 340 meters a second which is your mad speed of sound. Also how many waves you make each second is your mad frequency measured in hertz. Here's what 100 hertz sounds like. 1000 hertz. 10,000 hertz. Humans like us and that can only hear sounds from 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz. That's just enough for some DJ test or oh. So here's how I source a sound, like me pure speaking can sound different then. I'm gonna always speak right, like normal and that, but the mad frequency which we call pitch is gonna pure go up, like your mad chipmunks. Then go down there low like some stalker beast studio killer guy. It's funny how you can say anything pure nasty and scary and it sounds funny high pitched like this. I'm gonna pure batter you, you wee gimp. And you can pure say the nicest thing but it sounds always pure dead scary when it's pure low pitched. What a lovely cute puppy that is. See what I mean? So the Doppler effect then is actual dino simple so it is. Your mad motor will always make the noise it's making. When a source of sound is moving towards you, then the number of waves you get each second will be higher than it should be. So the motor sounds higher pitched. When it boosts by you, the number of waves you'll hear each second goes down. So the motor will sound pure lower pitched. This works also for your mad sirens and pulse motors, fire engines and ambulances too. The maths bit is heavy actual easy so it is. If a source of sound is moving towards you, then the frequency you will actually hear is geared to you by this thing here. If it's heavy boosting away for you, then what you hear is geared by this thing here. If a thousand hertz siren was moving towards you at 25 meters a second, then what you would actually hear is 1063 hertz. When it was right in front of you for a wee fraction of a second, it would give you a thousand hertz. When it was pure boosting away for you at 25 meters a second, then it would pure sound like 944 hertz. So it would sound a bit like this here. This is actual heavy easy, so it is, so don't get it wrong, alright? But the smart buttons amongst you will be saying to yourself, hold on big chap, what's gonna pure happen if the thing that's making the sound is pure travelling at the speed of sound towards you and that, you know what I mean? Well your mad equation says the number of waves each second you would get would be pure infinity. <laughs> Isn't he right by the way, that's dodgy maths. What you would pure get in the real world though, and know in the maths classroom is that the sound you would make in say a jet fighter wouldn't get away from in front of you. So all these mad sound waves you're making just start piling up and piling up in front of you, you know what I mean? Your mad jet pure feels this as a huge pressure wave, or we just call it a sound barrier. 
The sound barrier is an actual barrier of sound, no just a buffer name. It is real. Your mad fast jets and that are designed to pure break through this without too much fuss, which you can sometimes see too. After when you travel at pure supersonic speeds, then you constantly make a thing called a sonic boom, made for the sound you pure make get left behind you, you know what I mean? These sound waves pure bunch up like a cone shape. That means you'll see the jet flying by you, then you'll hear the sound that makes it as it catches up with you, a wee second later. This sound will be a big boom, followed by a wee low rumble. Makes sense if you think you've got to shape these waves in actual making. It is they just planes that they are though. 1997, some super brainy buttons made a motor which travel faster than the speed of sound, called the Thrust SSC. Big Andy Greenman drove this beastier motor in a desert somewhere. I usually pure rip the single fish out of my things, but I'm going to make an exception here, cause this is one top R and engineering project. Respect to them all, man. Now I hear though they want to do it again with a motor that goes, wait for it, a thousand miles an hour. Oh no, man. Now the super brainy buttons are just now super bonkers. Right, last thing now about Doppler and all that stuff, right? It just doesn't happen with sound waves. It can pure happen with light waves and all. Light pure travels at 300 million meters a second and your mad frequencies for different colours are dead big numbers. Like the colour green is about 580 terahertz. <laughs> it's a dyno unit, by the way, terahertz. So if you had a green top, spear moving towards you at 20 meters a second, then you wouldn't exactly see any difference, you know what I mean? You need to have, have big speeds of things moving towards you before you'll notice a colour change, which is a frequency change, you know what I mean? If the source of green light was pure heavy, boosting away for you at a big speed, then its frequency, just like the sound, would appear to be smaller. This means it might look red, no green. If the source of green light was heavy shifting towards you, then the frequency would go up, which would make it look a wee bit new, like blue, know what I mean? This is a bit crap, and they used to any partner except your mad super, turn it up to 11 buttons, which we call astronomers. These buttons are different for astrologers, because they actually contribute to the human race, where astrologers just write down any old crap. If you believe that rubbish, then you deserve everything you get. Or am I just being a typical Sagittarius? Get right to buff your losers. Where was I, right? Astronomers then. They pure know what distant stars and galaxies are made up for because of the pure unique light spectra that comes off it. Different atoms give you different light spectra, a bit like fingerprints. Something was wrong though, because these spectra patterns were the exact shape for the atoms they were expecting, but shifted exactly down towards the red end of their colour spectrum, so the mad pattern was what it should be, only everything had a lower frequency than it should, but all the same differences in that, you know what I mean? This is called your mad red shift. Sometimes it would be the same patterns as expected, but shifted towards the blue end of the spectrum. This is called your mad blue shift. Astronomers pure use the wavelength of light instead of frequency. Does doesn't really matter, just makes your sums a bit simpler. Red has a longer wavelength than blue, alright? Red shift is gave to be symbol. Z is purely observed wavelength. Take away the source wavelength divided by the source wavelength. This just gives you a wee number, alright? This number though, after a bit of mad maths, is equal to the speed of the source of light divided by the speed of light. So it gives you how fast the source of light could be a wee star, could be a wee galaxy, you know what I mean? Hundreds of millions of light years away is moving away for you. This speed is only the speed that moves away from you along a state line, some mad thing called your radial speed, whatever the hell your radial speed is. By the way, if this number, WZ, is a negative number, then it means blue shift, and the speed of the source and the state line and all that radial stuff is moving towards you. So you go in your buttons, planet videos to redshift astronomy and freezy moves. So next time you hear a post motor going by you with the sirens getting it loudy, just think about Doppler and Glasgow physics. Just give you a heads up and keep the edge by the way if it's in the Yoka area. Chances are, you know, maybe looking for someday. Say no more, me man, say no more. Catch you for Sanchez.